Hi everyone, today we're diving into the 11 skin signs of liver disease you should never ignore. From something as seemingly insignificant as a slight yellowing of the eyes to more obvious changes like spider veins, your skin can be a window into what's going on inside your body. Remember, I'm not trying to freak you out. Most of the time these symptoms are caused by something completely harmless. But it's always better to be safe than sorry, right? So if you notice any of these signs, especially if they're new or persistent, it's crucial to get checked out by a doctor. The first sign we're looking at is called spider angiomas, also known as telangiectasis. Now, they sound a bit intimidating, but they're just small red spider-like veins that appear on the skin. You'll often find them on the face, neck, chest or hands. They're more common in people with liver disease, particularly cirrhosis, but don't panic if you spot one. They can also be harmless and pop up during pregnancy or if women are on certain types of birth control pills. So why are these little spiders linked to the liver? Well, one theory is that a damaged liver struggles to process hormones like estrogen. This can lead to a buildup of estrogen in the blood, which in turn can cause those tiny blood vessels to dilate and form spider angiomas. Now, it's important to remember that spider angiomas can be caused by a whole bunch of things, and seeing one doesn't automatically mean you have liver disease, but if you notice a bunch of them, especially in combination with other symptoms, it's definitely worth getting checked out by your doctor. Let's move on to the next sign. Have you ever noticed someone's fingertips looking a bit like drumsticks? That, my friends, is called clubbing, and it's another potential sign of liver disease. Clubbing happens when the tips of your fingers and toes enlarge and the nails curve around, giving them that rounded, bulbous look. It's thought to be caused by an increase in connective tissue, possibly due to lower oxygen levels in the tissues. Now, while clubbing can be associated with liver disease, it's also linked to a whole host of other health conditions. Things like chronic lung disease, heart problems like endocarditis, inflammatory bowel conditions, and even infections can all cause clubbing. So if you notice your fingers looking a bit more club-like than usual, don't jump to conclusions. It's best to chat with your doctor who can investigate the underlying cause. Remember, early detection is key. So never hesitate to seek medical advice if you're worried about any changes in your body. On to the next sign. This next sign is probably the most well-known when it comes to liver problems jaundice. It's that yellowing of the skin and the whites of your eyes that can make you look a bit like a Simpsons character. Jaundice happens when a pigment called bilirubin builds up in your blood. Bilirubin is produced when your body breaks down old red blood cells and normally the liver filters it out. But if your liver is damaged, it can't do its job properly and bilirubin starts accumulating, giving you that yellow tinge. Now, jaundice is a common sign of liver disease, but it can also be caused by other things like certain types of cancer or conditions where your body destroys red blood cells too quickly, like hemolytic anemia. So, if you or someone you know develops jaundice, it's essential to see a doctor immediately. They can run tests to figure out the underlying cause and get you the right treatment. Ever noticed your palms looking a bit redder than usual? It might not be from washing dishes. This is called palmar erythema, and it's another potential skin sign of liver disease. Basically, it's a reddening of the palms of your hands, and it's thought to be caused by increased blood flow to the area. Now, like many of the other signs we've discussed, palmar erythema isn't exclusive to liver problems. It can also be caused by pregnancy, thyroid issues, or even just being naturally warm-handed. However, when it crops up alongside other symptoms, especially those related to the liver, it's definitely something to bring up with your doctor. Remember, it's always better to err on the side of caution and get things checked out. Your health is worth it. Let's move on to the next sign. This next sign is more common in men and can be a bit embarrassing to talk about, but it's important to address. We're talking about gynecomastia, which is the development of breast tissue in males. Remember how we talked about estrogen earlier? Well, when the liver is damaged, it can't process estrogen effectively, leading to higher levels in the blood. This hormonal imbalance can then trigger the growth of breast tissue in men. Now, gynecomastia is more common in men with cirrhosis, a late stage of liver disease, but like many of the other signs, it's not a surefire sign of liver problems. 
It can also be caused by medications, hormonal imbalances, unrelated to the liver, or even just weight gain. If you're a man and you notice any changes in your chest area, don't hesitate to talk to your doctor. They can help determine the underlying cause and recommend the best course of action. Next up, let's talk about something we've probably all experienced at some point, itchy skin. But did you know that persistent unexplained itching can actually be a sign of liver disease? When the liver is struggling, it can't filter out toxins from the blood as efficiently. These toxins can then build up and irritate the skin, leading to that intense itching sensation. Now, itchy skin on its own is super common and can be caused by a million things, from dry skin to allergies to eczema. But if you're experiencing persistent itching that doesn't seem to have a clear cause, especially if it's accompanied by other symptoms of liver problems, it's worth getting checked out by your doctor. They can run some tests to see if there's an underlying liver issue or if something else is causing your discomfort. Remember, early detection is key. Let's talk about those little yellow bumps that can sometimes pop up around the eyes called xanthomas. They're not the most glamorous things in the world, but they can be a sign of something more serious going on, including liver disease. Xanthomas are basically deposits of cholesterol under the skin. They're often yellowish, raised bumps or plaques, and they can appear anywhere on the body, but they're commonly found around the eyelids. Now, xanthomas are more common in people with high cholesterol, which can be linked to liver disease. When the liver isn't functioning properly, it can disrupt the way your body processes fats, including cholesterol leading to those fatty deposits under the skin. If you notice these little yellow bumps, especially if you have other risk factors for liver disease, it's a good idea to get checked out by your doctor. Early detection is always the best policy. Bruising easily is something you might not immediately associate with liver problems, but there's actually a connection. Your liver is responsible for producing a number of clotting factors, which are essential for stopping bleeding. When your liver is damaged, it can't produce these clotting factors as effectively, making you more prone to bruising. Now, bruising easily can be caused by a number of things like certain medications, vitamin deficiencies, or even just aging. But if you find yourself bruising more easily than usual, especially if it's accompanied by other symptoms of liver problems, it's crucial to see your doctor. They can determine the underlying cause and recommend the best course of action. Remember, your liver plays a vital role in your overall health, so taking care of it is essential. This next one's a bit of a mouthful. Dupuytren's contracture. It's a condition that affects the hands and can make it difficult to straighten your fingers. Basically, it happens when the tissue under the skin in your palm thickens and tightens, causing the fingers to curl inwards. While the exact cause of Dupuytren's contracture is unknown, it's thought to be linked to genetics and certain medical conditions, including liver disease. Now, Dupuytren's contracture is more common in people with alcoholic liver disease, but it can also occur in those with other types of liver problems. If you notice any thickening or tightening of the skin in your palm, or if you're having difficulty straightening your fingers, it's essential to consult with your doctor. They can assess the severity of the condition and recommend the best treatment options. Let's move on to another nail-related sign, Terry's nails. This one's a bit more subtle than clubbing, but it can still be an indicator of liver problems. With Terry's nails, the white portion of the nail bed becomes enlarged, while the pink or red portion at the tip of the nail becomes narrow or disappears altogether. The nail may also appear dull or opaque, while the exact cause of Terry's nails is unknown, it's believed to be related to changes in blood flow and circulation, which can be affected by liver disease. It can also be caused by aging, heart failure, and other medical conditions. So if you notice any changes in the appearance of your nails, particularly if they develop the characteristic white banding of Terry's nails, it's a good idea to mention it to your doctor, they can examine your nails and determine if further investigation is needed. And uh, finally, we arrive at our last skin sign, swollen veins on the abdomen, also known as caput medusae. This one's a bit rarer, but can be a more serious sign of liver disease. Caput medusae happens when blood flow through the liver is obstructed, usually due to cirrhosis. This obstruction causes blood to back up into surrounding veins, including those in the abdominal wall. 
These veins then become enlarged and visible, creating a pattern that resembles the head of Medusa from Greek mythology, hence the name. Caput Medusae is a serious condition and usually indicates advanced liver disease. If you notice this sign, it's crucial to seek medical attention immediately. So there you have it, the 11 skin signs of liver disease you should never ignore. Remember, your skin can tell you a lot about your overall health, so it's important to pay attention to any changes and speak to your doctor if you have any concerns. Early detection is key when it comes to liver disease and getting the right treatment can make a world of difference. Drop me a comment below and share your ideas. Like the video if you liked it, share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more updates.